on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss it's talk. nice, though. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. My dad, my dad. What What's going on? on? Nothing, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You tired yet? No. I don't get tired, man. Don't get tired. Say, man, we got a special guest in the house, man. Somebody who really, really been killing the, the TikTok and everything, really. Let me just be real for a minute here. I done did my little research on the cat, man. Man, Sicko P is in the building, man. Wow, what's up, baby? Wow, what's good, man? Say, man, Tampa, man, what's up, man? How did you, man? I don't even want to get into it first. <laughs> we want to talk about something else first. Right, Woo! It's a bit, it's a but that, that, I mean, I just love the way your music is a, it's a vibe, bro. Mm -hmm. It's a whole vibe, and that's the difference. That's the game changer, mm -hmm. game, the way maker. Mm -hmm. So, so tell me, uh, how long you been rapping? Like, shit, I, I came from a music oriented family. Like, really? my uncles rap, my papa was in a band or whatever. Shit, like cousin that can sing or whatever, all that. But it's like I always been around it. The first time I got in the studio, like sixth grade, really? like I did like a half a song, like just be real, like just on some shit. Me and my cousin playing around, but I got the feel for it then. And I did that little IMT pain out with my partner in eighth grade, like just on it, fucking around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. School, like trying to buy the iPod. They're like, man, I like that song y'all did. So they was just buying the iPod. So that's where the auto tune came from. I was on that shit in eighth grade. You know what you I'm saying? You from you from Jacksonville, yeah. right? Yeah, I was Texas. in Jacksonville, Texas. I was born there. I grew up there a little bit, then I moved to White House. I went to school. That's where I played all my sports. Where's White House? White like, House? Right in the middle. Come Tyler. on, man. You know, I know. Where my home's from. I'm really? really? from down there. Really? Right now? Yeah. You know, I get upset about these Texas, man. My yeah. home from down there. One play for the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. I play okay. football with her. She don't, you know, she from Jamaica. Oh, she okay. <laughs> my wife from Jamaica. She don't know, man. Them, she man. don't know, man. I'm East Texas hard here, baby. Nah, so I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Every it's time your some, fault. Yeah, I'm trying to educate you. Haven't you haven't introduced me to any of these I places. I took you to all them places down in East Texas, man. You've been down there for 20 years now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, you got to be born and bred. I get it. I, you can't. When we went to Kingston, I don't really, I can't tell you no streets over there now. You out know what pocket. I'm saying? I'd be pocket. over there looking and mm -hmm. trying to figure out what not to do. But check it, man. So, so you was you've you been doing your shows. You've been ripping the waves. You you getting crazy, crazy, uh, 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 People viewing you, uh, different cr type of people look like. Look like it might be more of a a, a, a Caucasian select. To be honest, to me, it looked like everybody <laughs> coming for you. Yeah, they, they, they just came out of nowhere. I don't know you where didn't they even came see from that coming, did you? First, you know, it's more of us. You yeah, know what I'm saying even though they always gonna be there, they gonna be there eventually yeah. over time. It's just like that crowd just came out of nowhere. But I don't your know music, it, your from. music, good though. It's it's really it's different. Mm -hmm. and I think that's the that's the good thing. It's a good difference. Yeah, most definitely. You know what I mean? I you, mean, I, how I looked at it is like everybody on the same thing. You know, I feel like I'm in my own lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you might hear me call myself Boogie. You know what I'm saying? That's my nickname too. So I just say I just call it Boogie Avenue because it's my own street. Yeah. So it's just like I feel like everybody talk about the same stuff. Everybody got you know what I'm saying? Probably had it worse over here. Probably had it better over here. But everybody can relate. Yeah. But it's like everybody tell the same shit. Saying it the same way, it's yeah. Like, well, how about I just say what I gotta say and let me say it in a different way? But yours you know is, what I'm your, saying? I mean, which makes sense. Most people fight to get crossed over, but look like yours is crossing over for the crossover. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And that's crazy. the part I see. Like, okay, this dude here, he got your sound is great, but it's you ain't you know, Bob. Shout out to Bob. He was one that was able to cross over. You know, that's that other money, like mm. that money right there. That's a different kind of money anyway. That's yeah. a different, that's a whole different level. Be a whole, I listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> but do you have to cross over and keep being crossed over? Nope. So you have to, how does that I'm work? Gonna be me. I'm going to keep it being with you. Like, that's why I say when they hear all this other stuff, they're going to be like, that ain't where I first got it. Right, that's why, that's why like, I'm yeah. wondering. Yeah, it's just me though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, them vibes there. Like, I got a whole bunch. I just look at it like. Because I'm wondering, are you going to try to cater to them? 
Mm-mm, okay, but like I said, real, I'm making music for me. For you, you know what I, I'm saying? I think it's more like I said when I said Caucasian. I really think just crossover to anyway. anybody, yeah, anybody. It could be Asian. It could be it's like other people outside yeah. of people who look like us. Right, is latching on to the sound. Right, yeah. and which is popping. Like it's something we need. That's one thing when we got in the clothing business. I, I mean, I was selling Miss Me, Rock Revival, all those different type jeans and stuff to cross cultures over, and I did. You know, mm-hmm. we had stores where you wouldn't even know who owned it by, by by color ratio, but but just just that's what it's all about. I think that's the biggest thing to help this whole country, to be honest, which is to be able to cross people over, and, and it helps. I'm being real. And you didn't think of it that way, but I it's mean, real. You're right, though. I know I'm you're right, because right. at the end of the day, that's, that's, that's what we need. But the crazy thing about society right now is the fact that um, everything here in the States is black and white, because even having the boutique, like what you were just saying, you have some people who come in and say, oh, is that black folks clothes or is that <laughs> white folks clothes? I promise you, I've heard it. Mm-hmm. And just like with music, I'm sure some people say, oh, you listening to black folks music or are you listening to white folks music? Like, why does it have to be a late, why can't it just be music? Because of cultural difference. Cultural difference. You can, tell the, difference. You can yeah. tell the difference. Yeah. So. But then that's, to me, that's bullying too because mm-hmm. I like that side, that type of music. You're going to say, oh, you listening to, so that makes that person feel some sort of way. Like, right. I shouldn't be listening to that because that's outside of my culture. But you shouldn't have to feel that way. That's right. what you like. Yeah. So just listen to it. Yeah, yeah. society, though, like you said, society is something else, man. We gonna ride with what we gonna ride with. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm in the south, nigga. By the way, though, <laughs> big ticks. And, and at the end of the day, you know, that's how we rocking. And 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 and, and we need to because we didn't we. Years ago, and to this day, a lot of people in other places don't really respect what we do in the south. So we gotta bring it. Nah, that's what the platform about that's what the whole situation is about for me is giving a face to our people so mm-hmm. that they'll be able to see how we bring it and if you don't like it nigga turn the station nigga. that's how I feel oh. <laughs> that's how I feel right there yeah 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 that's the way we it. gotta be because yeah. at the end of the day you gotta respect what we are who we are right. we bred different you right. know what I'm saying we come from a place that these cats could not understand. You know, we get, you know, I drive down in the country, nigga. I gotta stop them. I pull out of the driveway and redo my rims and my tires, make sure they right when I get out on the regular road. Y'all niggas know what I'm because talking country, about. Stop that country playing, dirt. <laughs> that country dirt. That's that red dirt. Hey, I yeah. get, I get so out what? there and go to wipe it, nigga, like, nigga, I'm gonna get these niggas anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did, you know, and people don't, but that's a thing, but we don't have. Our roads aren't really horrible compared to when we go to New York and you see them potholes and all them different places. Oh, I've been a lot, and she know it, and they they can't ride. They bumper to bumper. They 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 place where they stay is small. You can't you can't go your hotel that you just was in becomes two times smaller than what you were just in. Oh, is the rats as big as your arms? And you know what I'm saying. (laughs) And you pay way more for that. You pay way Way more, more way more for that. It's a way, but. They take pride in it, dude. I talked to a guy one time, and hey, he was bro. like, uh, I said, I'm from Texas, nigga. You, you know, I'm a real, I'm hot there saying it hard. And he right. said, yeah, but you got to understand, in New York, you look up that building up there, that little section, Jay-Z or somebody would own it for $40 million. I'm like, nigga, you take that $40 million to Texas, nigga, you going to have you a whole Man. bunch of land. You going to have you a whole <laughs> bunch of land. <laughs> That's the one thing. So what's up with you in this real estate? You got some stuff that that the family got hold. Uh, you know, real estate man right there. Oh yeah, my manager do it all. So you know, we got a whole lot of stuff. Oh yeah, on, so that well, I mean, you got to be smart about this thing. Yeah, and, it's an opportunity. And, yeah, and you paying yourself first yet? Most definitely. You got to pay yourself first. But you know what else I'm doing? I really been on some. I'm treating it like I don't got it. It's like I take it and hide it from myself. First. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I didn't I didn't hear something from myself. I know where it's at. Yeah. My granny might know where it's at, yeah. but about it. Yeah, yeah. Pay yourself Until first. I come up with another master plan. So that's what it is. Yeah. I like that. He sound like me. That's what I like to do. <laughs> I promise you. You've been hiding my money for almost huh? twenty years, hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, See, go be like, what the hell kind of interview is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, but real talk, man. Uh, so, Nick, so where's the music going next for us, for the for the supporters out here? Like as far as platforms, just saying. Yeah, yeah, like like, like where we where we going with it? You know, what we're on you know, our platforms all the time. Like, so, we're gonna go out DSPs, YouTube, SoundCloud, it. So we're gonna always distribute out. But right now, we just holding out just a little bit. Just yep. holding out just a little mm, bit, just yeah. so we can get to that to that M. You yeah. feel me? ATL man, you be frequent in that yet? I don't mean I've been twenty twenty. 
You need to keep it. going. I do. Need That's to keep the first going. place everybody. The dude goes. who made that Temple Beach. List. Yeah. They want me to come out there. Somewhere. I need you to be yeah. out there. Ain't no won't. You gotta go. Nah, for real though. You gotta go, and y'all gotta go, and y'all gotta hang out, and y'all yeah. gotta come back, and y'all gotta go, and y'all gotta come back, and y'all gotta hang out, <laughs> and you gotta come back up here. The next thing you know, you go back over there, come back over here. Yeah, nigga, it's work to be done. I like that. No, 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 it's the truth, nah, and it's really. fun, nigga. I seen y'all pull up in the big boy, nigga. That's how I ride, so I know. Y'all rolling nice. Hell, ain't no, you know what I'm saying? No, you talking about. No, like having a good time. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. life, bro. You know what I'm saying? You you, you got to do it. It's, it's living life. Yeah. And like I said, Mississippi down through there, you got to frequent all those places so those people can see you. The and chilling circuit, huh? Well, it's just the more people you can connect with, the more people get to see your talent, the more people you, you get are. to impress and bless. That's what you get a gift for. Yeah, you don't get a gift to hold it and hide it. Mm -hmm. You get a gift to let everybody, it, it, you know, pretty much experience it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So as you rip the wave, you see already the impact you get. You got to roll. Yeah, I mean, even though you got to fly. Even though I don't like just being around a lot of people like this. You got to do I it. I had to let them, they touch me or whatever. You know, turn up with me and stuff <laughs> like this. They said that for these little pictures. I had to understand, like. That's it. Like this, You got to do what it. what it is, so. Yeah. Yeah, you, and the I more you make a too. better impression on them at first, yeah. you'll have a supporter for life. Like I see it on TikTok now. Like we was going through there, just like they he's so it. good with his, he good with the fans. Like he just yeah, I'm just being humble, man. Yeah, like this could be taken away anytime. Anytime. So. And you know that's the one thing I tell everybody. And I love your attitude, man. Mm -hmm, I do too. I met a lot of them, and that's the one thing they had that mm -hmm. that it factor evolved around their attitude. Right. I could promise you that. I done met a lot of them that was talented in this city right here that can't get out of this city because of their attitude, yeah. the way that they approach the situation, don't know how to communicate with people. No, not knowing how to connect and communicate mm -hmm. stop you from moving forward. You see what I'm saying? And so the people around you, being able to keep a good attitude is what, what I've seen help so many people. They're the group of people I see groups then you know, we've been doing a lot of people, man. I interview staff. I don't think nobody, I mean, I'm dropping every day, every day, th next week, you know, you're going to see it just to, it's every day. I'm dropping footage, interviews, giving out awards, whatever, you know, we're doing everything to try to help to bless people while they're here, giving people their roses while they're here. I'm going to do uh, uh, our, uh, the new artists of the year and all that. I got all that coming. I'm watching That's everything. Good. Ain't nobody else. It, nah. They'll put a little post up. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually going to give you something to show your hard work went noticed, mm -hmm. not unnoticed. You know what I mean? We've seen it, and we want to appreciate it. That's mm -hmm. what we're doing. And my wife get mad at him because I be spending that money on everybody. Man, that's love, though. You understand, <laughs> She be man. mad. Like, how many plaques you going to get? You going to get a – you be on me, don't you? I do. <laughs> I just like showing love, man, because yeah. I'm blessed. Like, okay, I'm blessed. The whole, whoever I feel like can get one, that's what I'm going to give. Because <laughs> I, I know I want to give you roses while you're here. So many right. times we see people applaud people after death, and that worries me. It annoys me mm -hmm. because I know they didn't, they didn't, what they wasn't doing it when they was living. Fake love. Yeah. So I don't like it. You know what I mean? So I do it. I keep it 100. You know, I yeah. try to anyway. What you got? So you say you um, had a passion for music at an early age. Yeah, what's that? And the first time you went in the studio was how old? I like 12, 11, 12. So did you write your own lyric at that time? Oh, God. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. I don't, never let, I ain't, I don't now, like listen, nobody man. touching my stuff. I guess my I'm always going to ask that question. I'm, I am going to always ask that question. Everybody that same damn question. You got they to. They sit down here. Ain't nobody no, going to be on here okay, like, oh, let, let, me, said, let me just No, no, let me tell it. Let me tell it. Stop. Stop. No, because he said that. Even if you didn't write your own lyrics, you're not going <laughs> to admit to the fact. That. That's what he says. Some of them ain't going to admit it. But some will. Some will. Well, let me ask you something. How many done admitted it to you? We we, we getting more people. <laughs> we going to find one. I just don't see nobody coming in and be like, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, he wrote that for me. She wrote that for me. Because everybody have their own talent. Somebody just, might have I a just talent just to that. deliver it and not to write it. I, you know I, what I, I mean? I agree. So, I agree, I agree. Know your talent and stick with it. I'm not saying it's not happening. I'm just saying niggas is not admitting to ego, it. Ego, ego. Exactly, ego. they're not going to do that. That's I mean, like, the only way you find out that Drake allegedly didn't write his own is behind somebody else saying it. It exposed. You see what I'm saying? That's probably because of something petty. But he didn't really care <laughs> because for the simple fact, you know, I think that everybody can be influenced in a certain way when they write music in a certain setting. 
or if they're thinking of music in a certain setting, that person is with you or is an influence. Somebody may say, say this, or somebody might say, what about this? Or you might say, how does this sound? Man, somebody done did that in the studio. Yeah, like, like everybody. It ain't, it ain't nothing like that. Like, just say that, boy. Say it like this. Yeah, yeah, Not that's like, right. All right. That's what Kanye said. Uh, well, Jamie Foxx said Kanye, if it hadn't been for Kanye telling him, like, don't do that no more. Do it like this. He <laughs> said he wouldn't have never got to, you know, let people really enjoy his music or experience his music because he was trying to do it the old way. Mm -hmm. and, and and you got to have a younger mind. Like, I listen to you in the studio. Hell, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. I have somebody else to do it. I'd be like, listen at him. Hell yeah, he mm -hmm. making hits. You not. Nigga, listen. That's only using your damn mind, right? <laughs> so what's the why that you continue to do what you do? Well, like I said, I play sport. East Texas, you know about the sports and oh, stuff like that. So at that this point, hard. play football. Yeah. Play football. He looked like a football player. Him yeah. and Smooty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smooty played Smoothie. too. Yeah. Like I said, I played with Pat. I was a sophomore on, on varsity. Really? Yeah, he was a senior. So, yeah. you know, we going from, we went in, we undefeated all that, you know, third round playoffs, all that. So, you know, it's kind of hype coming my junior year. We, we, we were sorry as hell my junior year. <laughs> I'm talking about, bro, we got our asses whooped. Like, I don't know how, but we didn't make playoffs. Coaches looking at us, you know. What you gonna do next? I just felt like it just went. I don't know. I got kicked out the team. <laughs> I did. I got kicked out the team because I went submissive to some some other stuff. And yeah. I just I always been staying office, and they didn't like it because I had influence. Like it's always been like that before the music. I think that's structure, man. I, I yeah. like it. I like going through all that. I ain't like kicked it. out. No, you. you Everything you, happens. You for don't a reason. like it, but it's shaping and molding you yeah. at the whole right. time. Most definitely. Hell, now you don't like it. But it's shaping you. It's molding mm -hmm. you for who you are now. Right. So it's a part that I, I don't like certain things I look back on that kind of hit me a certain way, but I know I needed them once I get past. Yeah, it built character. I That's moved, it. Mm -hmm. I motivated leave my senior year. Oh, I yeah? Bought, I bought over there. Yeah, okay. I started off the muscle. Like, it was live. Like, it was live. <laughs> I, I'm still having football. Like I said, the whole time during my little football stage, on varsity, just living this little lifestyle with them. At home, when I get my little downtime after my little workouts or whatever, I might just go to YouTube, listen to some beats, and I just write. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But I never go to no studio. I'm just writing. Wow. So I always had did that. My senior year, we balling, having fun or whatever. I'm not thinking about no music. We didn't make playoffs again, but they fired my head coach, so he couldn't recruit for us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So John Tyler started trying to recruit for us. UIL shut that down like them not y'all players. So mm -hmm. it was always something that's like, damn, I'm getting away of my football. You know what I'm right. saying? Somebody was getting away. You wanted it. Right. So 2016, my partner was like, hey, you think you can do something to this song? That uh, g Easy finessing with Lil Wayne. I'm like, yeah. So we just did that. We just recording off our phone. Then we just started going to the studio. But like 2018, like there's so many people just dying around me and stuff like that. And like people that just really loved, like they know I had the music in me. Like my family, a whole lot of shit was just going on. And I remember them just telling me like, nah, you need to really just do that. And my partner Guala got locked up. He was a rapper. I wasn't just rapping like that. He got locked up there. Four. He just came home. I had him up there, you know what I'm saying? Love it for the show and stuff too. I just really just focused. I was yeah. like, man, you know what? 2018, I just really just really took myself serious. Like the yeah. end of 2018, early 2019. That's when it just started really just jumping out. Wow. That's hot, man. Yeah. How did the pandemic affect you since you started in 2018, 2019, and here comes 2020? With the pandemic, how did did that slow you down? I went I went on, so it didn't slow me down. Oh, really? I feel like I'm still grinding. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I feel like I'm not even on yet. Still, you know what I'm saying? Like this is just a, it's just like a little stepping stone, man. So I because just, I heard a lot, I heard a lot of people say that they had a lot of shows mm -hmm. arranged for 2020, and they couldn't do any. Yeah, they shut that down. So that's the part where I'm thinking, well, did you have shows scheduled? Mm -mm, I'm still grinding. He's still, still grinding. He's still coming out. Yeah. You know, and and, that, and that's a good thing because God was just giving you time to really, really work on your craft. Yeah, but perfect craft. Let me ask you this, uh, hypothetically. Right. This is a new one. Okay. I uh, I want to link you up with somebody. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, y'all gonna do a song together. But right. I want to buy the song. Right. But I want to link it up with you and this other guy. Mm -hmm. Can we do something like that? As long as I put the money up. We you gotta, see what I'm saying? We got to go talk to some folks, but yeah. But you see where I'm coming from? Because I, mean, I can make something happen because I know certain things and I know how it's going to hit. And y'all ain't going to be able to do it because I'm the bridge. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? 
I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna get mine, nigga. I ain't gonna keep letting you niggas win. You know, it's too many millionaires that came through this damn store. You feel me? They crazy. Like I, I know it's it. gonna hit. I know. I know the people is gonna it's gonna hit. But at the end of the day, it's hard for you guys because y'all got y'all certain groups y'all in. Y'all not gonna do it unless I link it up. You see what I'm saying? So uh, that's the only way it happens. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, people don't. But I know. I know somebody who did that too. So I know it can be done. You know what I mean? It's all about making sure the numbers right and everybody happy with what happens at the end of the day. You know what I mean? It's just something that I'm just thinking about. You know, because I meet a lot of people and I know a lot of people and everybody I've been meeting, I'd be like, damn, I like this one. In my mind, I'll be like, I could put this one with that one, but I have a hell of a song. Because they already got a lot of followers, all of them getting views. They're just not doing it together. And that's what happened, I'm telling you. And then you already crossing over, and this guy here might not even be from your culture, and he making good music, and he connected to the right people. You see what I'm saying? And I know that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like this could go crazy. Right. And, and, and you know, like it'll go yeah, dumb. So definitely gonna have to bring <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because that's how that's how you do it. It takes, and and neither one of you are both of y'all got stuff going, so it ain't mm -hmm. like neither one of you guys hurting. I mean, you got people that, like, me and Lil Ronnie was talking the other day, and, and he did a song with uh, Old Boy Prince, who mm -hmm. both of them been on the show, and they know already the other, and there's one more guy on there, too, but they all know they was trying to make it a TikTok, and it, it's doing good uh, on uh, TikTok, TikTok right now, too. So, that's the way it go, like, like you link it, linking people up together. And who already to have their own stuff. Yeah, who already have their own stuff. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. We got to talk about that. Yeah, we can talk line. about that for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said we got to get rid of it. Because it's hard. I talked there. to Smoothie a little bit about something like that. I mean, he'll talk a lot. He called me sometime. And uh, you just build relationships. When you come through here with me, I'm a, I'm a hustler. So we're always trying to figure out ways to do something to right. make something bigger, you know? Right. That's what a real thing could do. We're going to try to make it pop. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Nah, for so real. So how was that love thing? How was the show? And where was it at? We all around love it. Really? Even though Love it, like, you know, I ain't them really just out there, but the school. Well, Loveland out there. Y'all didn't go to Loveland, SPC? Level? Yeah, I had my last show was at Level. And then, really? Um, yeah, with Carnage. Okay. And then I had two. Okay, we got there Friday night. Had that show Friday night, The Black Sheep. Okay. Yeah, that was stupid. We take that bitch up, like, all the way. You know all what I'm saying? Way. Like, that mode was live, and then. The next day we had that day party, like that frat party. Yeah. Like swimming pool. They had all, I don't, they had this, it was like, it was a lot together? of type of stuff going on, really? man. Yeah. Is they it? just crazy, man. They just have a good time, and That's how they do, man. They just, so we turned that one up and then just waited a few hours and then I had that one in level. Wow. Like, it's a lot going, it's a lot of partying going on. So what? I had fun, like we had fun, the shows were good, good vibes, so yeah, love it was turned. What, what's up with what, what's up with uh you do stuff in Louisiana Street Port or anybody anywhere down there yet? Man, we just he just getting a whole lot of people just DMing like they from everywhere like Florida, yeah, like South okay. Carolina, that Tampa song, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Like, okay. What inspired that song, man? Man, I'll tell you, I was working a job. I'm just I write. I'm in grandma, so I'm I used to write. You know, so I don't write no more. But back then, 2019, like I used to sit down and write songs like three, four songs a day, and I used to go to. Orlando studio, like, you might have to just book an appointment if I can't catch Ryder. So I might book an appointment. And I worked a job. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. you hear me. So I worked a job. I, I worked a train, hear. man. So I just try to get some men so I can have something to listen to while I'm working. Can give me more inspiration? Like, now nah, I got to get the hell up out of here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I just, it was like a song I recorded, like, just my regular routine. I didn't give a damn about this song like that. Not saying I didn't because I wrote it, but. But it hit. Yeah. It hit, and then I was just trying to figure out my single, like, what should I put out? You know what I'm saying? And my homeboy, Jalen, he was just like, I think you need to drop that tempo out first before you drop the tape. Hell yeah. I said, well, let's listen to it. So we listened to it about five times in the car. I was like, I, I want to drop tempo. So when I dropped that, it was a reaction from that, like, from our, our color. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that song, boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I dropped the tape. Gone by my little business, you know. Next thing I know, <laughs> somebody hit what they say, man. This thing going stupid, man. Like this going crazy. It was basically just like that. Yeah, Juice ended up hitting me up. Like we went to Atlanta. Yeah, my boy T Jones, like the me Juice T Jones. I was gonna ask you about him. Yes, my boy. I was boy, gonna man. ask you about Free him because I'm man. trying to get. I'm trying. I need his address. Okay. Because I be writing people. That's what okay. I do. I I know how to talk. My boy be texting me. 
Oh, he, oh yeah. Like That's after good. the little email thing he got. Let him yeah, know yeah. that Boss Talk 101 want to be on his first interviews when he come home. Okay, cool. I we hot. Tell up. him we hot. We nah, fire hot, got nigga. You. And by the time he get here, nigga, he's going to be turned all the way up. Because I've been looking for him. I already, I think I told Juice. I told DJ Juice. Mm -hmm. I, whoever, I need that address. Nah, for real. He coming home soon. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to write him anyway. If he wasn't coming home, she know I write niggas ain't going to mm, never come that's home. That's real, though. A lot that's of what I do. Sit down and do no, that. that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I, that keep me humble. Nah, for sure. Because you can't never forget where you come from. That's what I do, man. When I be gone and I be all around these states or whatever, I go back home. I go back home. I got to go back to the hood. Like, yeah. It's like an oil change to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just Definitely. bring me back down to everyone. I, I get it. 100%. And especially because hearing it from a person who's already been there, done that, and getting that letter, because sometimes I see these letters come in and he'll read them to me, and they're going through different things in prison while they're there that they've never experienced before. And he can write them and say, man, just, just stay focused on this, do this, do that. Yeah. And to me, that helps. Because people in there, you can't really depend on somebody in there to be trying to be, you know, there for you. Yeah, that's so. what I like when he hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know, I know it broke him. Like I know it hurt him a little bit, but he he's strong. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. My boy's strong though. I know it hurt him a little bit because you're going from this to this. You know what I'm saying? But so when I talk to him, man, he in good spirits though. Yeah, Brother no, he's he gonna be all right. I mean, it's 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 really it's another life, but yeah. it's, it's it's still living. Um, anything can happen in there, just like yeah. out here. He ready though. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Ready. So so he has time to write. He got time to write. He got Figured time to out. study. He got time to read. He need to study himself. Self evaluation, man, because self awareness is real. So it's a lot of stuff that go with having that time. You got to take advantage of that time, mm -hmm. and that time is serious because at the end of the day, you'll never get that type of time again. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> you never get that damn nah, type of time again. We ain't going down. But you there, see what man. I'm saying? But it's you different. definitely got to take advantage of that time when you mm -hmm. get it. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Because that time is is crucial. It's de it's detrimental. That you 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 become a better human, man. Like like nobody has that type of time to sit around like that depends, and think. Depends on you though. Yeah, yeah. You know some people treat people it like go, the free world. A lot of people go down there and <laughs> just lose it. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly. Just lose it. Like I said, thank God I ain't no being a world. Oh, I just said, you man. You, you be in there for a smaller sentence, and you sit next to a nigga that's got two years, two 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 life sentences in a day. Yeah. And he and he trying to talk to you. Ain't much for us to talk about, nigga. I, I got to it. move around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to talk, man? No, no, man. no. We can't. No, me and you are not going the right direction to be hanging out, nigga. You, you gonna be here edge. forever, nigga. I'm yeah, leaving. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. So who pushes you to do what you do? Man, like like who is? Because I hear you talk about your grandma a lot. My granny, Nay Nay, D three. Mm -hmm. Everybody really passed away. Like I said, passed away. And then also, I came from my family. I ain't never had nothing, man. We ain't not saying like that, but. Oh, but we like on now, talk, nigga. Like, real You're talk. Right. Like, we coming out of. We ain't had nothing. So it's just. Somebody got to do it. Yeah. It's like yeah. a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, doing it for your family. I'm doing it for it. Yeah. That's no what, kids? It's bigger than me. I ain't got no kids. Good. You know what I'm saying? So Great, like, nigga. Don't get that's no That's good kids. when you're doing it for other people and not yourself, mm -hmm. you, you know? But at the same time, don't burn yourself out for that at the same time. Honestly, you still got to take care of yourself. Right. Let me ask you. I got I to gotta, I gotta ask you this. Uh, this is one of my, if you watch my show, you would know what I'm about to say to you. Right. But you ain't watching. Right? Man, you man, ain't too man, damn busy. No you just came out of nowhere. Check it, man. <laughs> Top three artists of all time, man. Dead or alive. Any, Any genre. genre. Top Any three genre. artists of all time. What, for me? For you. Your, your top three. What your ear for heard, any, nigga. Don't genre. tell me any what the genre. masses said. I want to hear what your cousin them said. I want nah, your top me. three. Okay, since you said any genre, how I feel. Number of one. Course, of course, Michael Jackson. These niggas like love Michael. old Mike. Old Mike like living Mike. off the wall. Billy Jean. Like, like beat Mike. it, nigga. You niggas hell. Thriller, nigga. Y'all, he stole Halloween looking at him. I like Mike. <laughs> who else? Um, who else I want to say? I'm finna go into the rap just That's for fine. me. That's fine. Just for me. What you like? What you your top three artists of all time? Top three, man. That's a wild. That's a wild man. Everybody and has you know his mind. He's still alive though. Who? You know what I'm saying? As far as rapping wise, who? my top three who I really like just really just word play for word play. Yeah. I like Fifty. You like Fifty? Man, I like Fifty. I get bro. it. I, I see like it now. I see. I hear it, nigga. I hear 50 it. Really yeah. On that, he on that type of time. That for nigga. Me. So he's your number two. That's your number two. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna okay. get into my rap, how I feel like the people I listen to, but yeah. 50, and then my number three. Three. 
Yeah, that's hard. It's and always hard three, to third. And number three, hard. It always uh, is. Every nigga that's sitting I think everybody always said, can you give me four? Like, can nah, you give me nigga, four? And I'm like, no. Just three. Nah. Hey, <laughs> you, the number three is, nigga. The three. You finna, you finna do me something. Uh, I'm going to have to go just because this who I, I like him. You know what I'm saying? That's so what I'm it's gonna, all about. I'm going to have to go. Fuck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I got to see it. Yep. Give it up. When I started this, I never would have thought okay, this would have been it. so. so it. For me. This is yeah. for me. Yes. This is for me. Because I like the <laughs> shit talking. Yeah. And he just crazy. I like, I like Gucci. That's just for me. Already, that's you know my nigga. Saying? That's my that's just nigga. For me, though. Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You say Why? all the time. Hey, so man, like listen. But why was it so hard for you to oh, say that's Gucci? My nigga, because Gucci, I, nigga. Who don't like Gucci? You right? said all, out of all genres. Not out of all genres. Gucci is straight rap. No, but this is, no, but this is Gucci, your nigga. You opinion. did good. This is your nigga. option. Yeah. Gucci, nigga. I, I met the nigga a few times, nigga, real cool, too. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie, on some, on some real. No bodyguard type nigga. Yeah. Right. That was back in the day. That's the old Gucci. Yeah, New Gucci got all kinds of niggas around him. Yeah. I'm young. I ain't got to see, meet him yet. And he got a whole team over there at 1017, man. I'm mm -hmm. that dude always have been for the culture. He he built that yeah, whole city up. Atlanta, you can give it was on his back. Y'all can talk about all them other niggas, but he put it on his man, back. He, he worked harder than them. Them niggas ain't work hard as Gucci. Nah, Gucci did work hard. So he nigga said worked Michael. hard. He that nigga said, said Michael, that nigga said 50, and nigga said Gucci, man. Shout out to Gucci, though. Yeah. yeah Gucci, my. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Gucci go hard, rapper, don't it, man? man. On some real, like Gucci that Nigga go hard. Future, too. So, so future, future go hard, too. He yeah. came out of nowhere. He make them banging songs. The I club like that old don't future. jump, nigga. Yeah, like the old future don't Bro, have I don't think they understand. I even before the turn on the lights and before saying that, I'm talking about that 1,000. Like, I just, his style, though. You know, his style yeah. kind of rubbed off on me. Like a little bit. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I, he, he heard it now. He's style kind of. I like future. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, everybody from Texas, anything, they get past me. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like everything. UGK. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm straight UGK. I like you are so. straight UGK. I'm straight Pimp C. I don't I like give a damn about sure. nobody else, to be honest with you. All yeah. your top three, they were cute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were cute. One, you can't Pimp nah. C a whole nother level for That's me. Why I don't like, I, I know that. how it started in Texas, so it's a whole different vibe for me. Like when a nigga like Pimp did it, if a nigga from Texas, he got to pick Pimp if, if he my age because he know what he did to put the light on Texas. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong. Scarface and them did their thing, but it wasn't a Texas <laughs> thing. And I said that right before we started. Pimp C made people respect Texas. Nah, man. for real. And, that, and, and, and that's what you got to remember. That's why I go so hard for it. No, nah, it ain't going to be everybody else's top three. And I don't give a damn about their top three. I care about mine. And my t number one is Pimp. Gonna always be. Why well, I go so hard on these TikTokers and stuff like that, even when I say something, like, even sometimes in my music, I say something about Texas. Because it's like, I don't feel like they respect them enough for they me. They don't. You know what they I'm saying? Don't. I That's really what, feel like they don't respect they don't. them enough for me. So it's like, all right. You got to show it. Put them yeah. in their face. Oh, when I go out of town, I talk real slow, nigga. Yeah. I don't want you. I just act like I'm so hood. Throw country, <laughs> nigga. Where you I, from? Yeah, nigga. I don't even talk yeah. right. Chunk of rock, all that. I don't even mm -hmm. say nothing right. Everything going to be wrong outside of Texas. Yeah. Slang it. Yeah, so I, I sent it and all kind of stuff. Seen and gonna be sent it, nigga. What else? <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to collab with? Yeah. As in, Yo, just in general. If you could collab mm -hmm. with anybody in this whole music f industry, who would it be? A future. Future. Mm -hmm. Already. Oh, yo, so uh, you need to go to Atlanta. Yeah, you got to frequent Atlanta because that, that, that can happen, man. That mm -hmm. All you got to do is go and keep working. No female artist you would uh, like yeah, to work with? Yeah, definitely female artist. Oh, um, because she go hard. I like Omaretta. Okay. Like, Omaretta hard. I think she slept on. Like Y'all ain't got no female artists on the, in y'all camp yet? <laughs> you know, you got to get a female artist. That's not when you made yet. it. You know what I'm saying? Not yet, man. Not yet. But not yet. Some prospects for sure. I like Omaretta. I mean, just to be real, because she from Texas. What's like that other nigga named uh, mm -hmm. Kanika? Uh, what's his name? Quality. Guala, Guala P. That's my homie. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my brother. That's the uh, that that's uh, that, that I've been seeing him on your music and I seen his video. Yeah, so dude. you know, I thought he might be with you. I said I gotta get that boy. We just came just, back from Love It. We yeah, just I heard that. It. You know, yeah. it's good. I love the unity. That's I'm just I'm looking at how you connecting with who you connecting mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't gonna never turn my back on it. You yeah, yeah, you yeah. Loyal yeah. to me, I'm loyal to you. Exactly. It's out of the way. That's what's up, man. So when you hit that meal ticket or two meal or hundred meal, nigga. 
I want you to keep that same energy. I always like that. <laughs> it's always like that, man. It's just it's easy to say it when to to all these people come in your life, man. It's hard, bro. Like you know, I'm pretty sure Megan didn't think she was gonna just walk off and leave calling them like that until Beyonce and Jay showed up. Nigga. It's know. easy to say, nigga, until they show up. Like nigga. I said, I don't know what all that was. Yeah. I don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm man. just saying, when a nigga pull up. Oh man, I done seen niggas pull up. I don't know. The whole place just go different. But you, know? you, you want to know something? How I look at it. See, you should be looking at who I You trying to wonder who I am. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. when I see Jay Z and them, I say it's cool. Yeah. I'm not saying like I don't respect them, but I'm not finna just run up over there and holler at you, go crazy, stuff like that. Like that's just me. I don't know. I'm not saying that I don't respect him because I respect every man on this yeah. in this industry for sure. Like yeah. any man, period. But it's just like that's even when I seen this other dude. I ain't gonna say his name. Now you acting like Pimp C. So. Nah, I'm just keeping <laughs> which it is real. good. I'm telling you that. Like, that's, that's the way you pose to act, me. nigga. Cause I am me. You know when, what you, I'm when you when you when you a stomp down cat, it don't matter who 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 nigga. It, it, you gonna be you. Yeah. And most of the time, the real ones stand out. I know I'm a real one in my heart. I done been around people and and I still get my shine. That's what tell me I'm I'm shining over here. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're in the room in the midst of people, right? You've been there with me, and basically you still feel like nigga I belong here. Yeah, well, and, and niggas asking you who you is, mm. and then that's when you feel like yeah, that's what it is. I mean, was at the mall, bro. <laughs> we was at the mall. There's some Dallas rappers there yeah. at the mall, and we was at the mall, whatever. But I guess because they was there. He was talking to him, his management or whatever. He was asking me a couple questions about what I got going. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I guess because his artist was over there, I guess he thought I was going, hey, what's up, bro? bro, bro, bro. No, Man, you see me just like I see you, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to come speak, we're going to come speak. Other than that, I'm going to keep my digital like no. I'm keeping yours. That's you know it. what I'm saying? So that's how I'm going to treat anybody. I think that's the way real niggas from East Texas do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's like get out. Yeah. Me East Texas. I, because of me, I'm for, I can tell you, I've been there. And mm -hmm. you be in a place where people at, and you don't just get overwhelmed by it. You know that. You done been there. You done see. It's a certain thing. And my wife is like that. We can be in the room with people. It don't. I think we just feel like we 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 who we are, nigga. Y'all comfortable who y'all? Yeah, are, so you know when either. you feel like you somebody and you know who you are, then you don't you don't you don't you don't move and shake to a beat of what everybody else doing anyway. It's something about me else I wouldn't be here. I, just, I feel like I just don't like forcing. That's yeah. what it is because a lot of people gonna force it just to be noticed. Yeah, and if it's if it, they gonna see, I was gonna see. So like my granny say, you know what I'm saying? I used to ask like, wow, this dude can do the same stuff. And I can do, he he dogging her worse than what I'm doing, what I just did, one little thing. But everybody want to talk about me. But y'all want to talk about this was going on over here. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, baby, you shining. You glow in the dark. You shining in the dark. Like, that's what that is. Like, yeah. you got to oil, people going to see it. Exactly. So I was just like, okay. So I just, I always think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. Like, like I, I know that, I know that when you feel a certain way, I think you need to keep that same energy because that's what's going to reflect you. And that's going to really, really, that's going to permeate the audience and they know that's how you are. And that's a part of your character. Yeah. And that's what's going to last. Authenticity. Yeah. When you're authentic, it's going to last. When okay. you act fake, it's going to fade that's away. Yeah. That's why we don't sell nothing but real clothes in here. Not real but you can only be fake for fake. so long. <laughs> nah, that shit always going to That's spoil. work. You see what I'm saying? Everything got to be real. If it's real, then you ain't got to worry why, about it going away, nigga. My that's little slogan, when they be like, who I am, I'm the most handsome, so chosen. I say, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I am. Like, I'm the most handsome, so chosen. And I say, God only made one seat go pee. There it so is. So when I say that, it's just like, that's how I feel about me. Like, this is what it is. And some people can say that sound cocky. You know yeah, how some people I like, say oh, it's you're cocky. You know, self-love. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Kind of cocky with whatever, but that's how I look at it, though. C -O -P -I -O. You know? So what do you have in work coming up? What can we look out for? <laughs> I that sounds like a lot. I got like, what? <laughs> I think Good. I'm dropping three projects from the rain of this year, even though I dropped one and re reloaded another one. So I got like three coming out this year. When? <laughs> like, you got these dates? June, October, and December. That's hot. Yeah. Okay. Now, man, I mean, I'm down to record 40 songs in a week. Like, so I can do some songs. Are they going to do you, videos you back with it, too? It too? Yeah, I'm going to have videos, a whole lot of videos. Like, I got to shoot videos in Houston this week, like, a couple of them. But I got, like, six of them, five, six of them in the box right now just ready. So I just keep adding up. Just So when I flood, I'm going to flood. I'm just letting Temple do his thing. I got this. 
I don't want to. Can I talk on that? Half the time. Go ahead and tell us. Nah, Man, I can't say why that. you can't just drop because some? Because it's going to be a surprise. Like, want, it's yeah, big. And I, I, it's yeah. big, bro. I, I like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's big. I, that, so. that tell me y'all pre-planning and structuring it the correct way. Yeah. I like that. You well, know what I mean? Like, I, I, I like though. that, man. I, I really do, man. Like, if it's something that you guys going to drop, we're going to be watching and waiting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Come back here and drop it. The information. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. No, nah, you always welcome here. Once yeah. you come, nigga, you, you can always come back. All you got to do is hit so. me up or hit Boss Talk 101. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we, Did you yeah. follow our Instagram yet? Yeah, he talk, he, no, he was on my throat. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Straight up. laughs> had to do that because that's just the way we connect because mm-hmm. she like trying to get them followers up on that right. page and it's new. We knew. And everybody on that page from half pint, you only, all the ones that really count. That and she get us Charleston White shot at the page out. You know, it's, it's just four, three, four hundred people. That's what I miss, man. He, and, <laughs> he came out a too. lot. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And, oh, he now, love this, and what yeah, everybody love this spot. Yeah. Yeah. And what people don't understand is that like he's always so busy doing mm-hmm. stuff. So yeah. I'm the person who back him up in a lot of like texting, trying yeah. to get information. So if I have everybody in one spot, mm-hmm. I can easily send you a message from Boss Talk and say this, 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 this because he be editing, he be doing yeah, a I'll whole lot of stuff. Well, so man, I I'm take off a lot too. of pressure off of him. Okay, you doing it all. Yeah. So that's I'm good the reason with it. why. And then I still looking for most stuff to do. I get up every morning, three o'clock. Yeah. Every day, nigga. Uh, you be at the club, nigga, I'm up. You, you know? ain't gonna be stopped. <laughs> we gonna stop. get it, nigga. Stop East Texas in the building. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you have that normally do your videos? Do you like one particular visual, video? Visual. To be real, how I looked at it, man, when I was just using, I wanted to build. You know what I'm saying? Like, every artist, at least, you be like, nah, I know this camera guy. Like, I know this dude. Like, I know he shoot such and such videos. Like, they built up together. So that's what I wanted to do. But right now, I've just been giving other people a chance to work. Like, just blowing my little options and just trying to see what they got off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So right now, I'm still looking. Like, we just still shoot. We shoot. Off the shoot anybody. You know the bi- the best guy I had. You remember the one of the best guys because I'm not gonna crap on all the other. Yeah, because we've had a lot of different. But ones. the dude that I used to take to Vegas, Cali, or wherever we was going is uh my my J Tyler. He which he start doing cars and everything else. But you can tell the ones that's that's talented, naturally that's, that's, talented. That's, that's just they 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 just gonna do it regardless. You ain't gotta tell them nothing. Mm-hmm. They just gonna make show sure when the video time. You ain't gotta say how to do it. They gonna help you create. That's when you know you got the ones. You know the ones I respect. And another thing, another thing, <laughs> their budget stuff. Yeah, mm. like keep it real. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we gonna pay you, but why would you? Just because they pay more, you should treat everything the same. The same. Exactly. Everything the same. That's right. You know what I'm saying? No, that's like, true. Everything should be the same. Whether it's a four hundred dollar video or two thousand dollar video, should Whatever. be the same, bro. Like well, eight thousand. That's your character. Ten thousand. But not everybody has that character. Yeah. They go after the money because they think that the more that's money, all I shoot the more you. money you spend is the quicker I'm gonna get recognized by the bigger people, and that's what they're thinking. Or some people might say, if you spend more money, I can give you more creativity because I can buy this and buy that and make it elaborate, so it can, you know. But people don't understand. You can still be on a small budget, but use your creative That's sense what it is. to make it unique and not just use all of these props and everything else. It's costing a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Another thing is, like, I always, since I done jumped in, you got to invest in yourself. So mm-hmm. I'm not looking at, oh, it costs that much. Nah, you got to, because it's going to come back. As I look at it, like, the more you put in, the more it's going to come out. So if I say I want to spend 400 with you, Cause the next time I shoot, I could probably throw two thousand at you just because, like, I know for a fact he ain't doing it just because. I'm just trying to see your character. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like that energy. I you building a team. That's yeah. it. I really, man. You really want to? He be on my ass. Like he be like, bro. I don't see how you. He would. He. You fuck up. You gone. That's how he. That's how he is. You can't do it. Like Me. That. It was because I see it. I like. I know you can do better. Yeah. Like I know you. That's I guess it's a big ass heart I got. No, no. Man, I think you do like, it the right way because you got to try to critique somebody because yeah. you're gonna get somebody else that same energy. The work, you know, you got to make your. I always say make your worst person that's in the group your best worst person and because you got to keep critiquing them. It's everybody not gonna be just great, but you need a like like what you guys just doing this the show. Somebody should have been doing back visuals. All this stuff. This is a movement. Mm. And if it and that person don't have to, he just have to have a little talent with a G7 or, or a, reg, a small 4K camera, so he can get some good back footage, and we can show people the movement. That content mm. is so important. You always need content. It's so important, and y'all doing something that some people will never do. Mm-hmm. So you got to do that, and you got to find that person, and you got to make sure 
to give them that opportunity. That's what I've done for years. Right. People look at me crazy. Like, I always had a cameraman with me. I could do the work, but I would always take them, fly them here, fly them there. Wherever yeah. I'm going, I take them with me. Like putting people in position. Yeah, huh? yeah. And, yeah, and I would take them. I would take them with me, let them shoot, whatever, give them names and all that. And 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 I can always go back to all now, all my footage. I got everything that I was doing when I was yeah. in Chicago, when I was in here. And you can reuse your footage for another time. You don't have oh, to put it out right then and there. Just like your music, you might have had written something four years ago, but it's now time to release it, and nobody will know the difference. They be mad at me because <laughs> when I mean I be so stuck on my new stuff. Like as soon as I get on, I be like, damn, I want to drop this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you got this that you just did. I be done went up. 100, 200 songs, and I'm just, you know, we need to get some of this out. So, yeah, I guess. I heard you, you know say what earlier me that. Out? Oh, go ahead. I heard you say earlier that you didn't write anymore. Mm -mm. You because just. Because I look. Yeah. I you, it was a decision because I wanted to better myself. Like, actually use my brain. Like, yes, if it's something, if it's a track that I feel like I need to get up in here, then I might sit down. But I haven't did that in so long. Like, just sit down and just. It's just really a test of myself. And it's like, when I first did it, oh, it might take me an hour and a half just to do it because I'm coming punching in. Like, I'm punching in. And then now, it take like 30 minutes. Like, 30 minutes now, I just, because it's just better myself, honestly. Oh, really? I just look at myself like a machine because I want to be better than what I am. So I just oh, like, really? well, let me test myself, push yeah. myself to the limits. Yeah. Not like I'm trying you to. You will write again, because most people always write when something happens. When an experience happens and they're right. like, man, I got to put this down. This is so, I got to do this. Yeah. And you will stop everything that you're doing just mm -hmm. to put it down because of the situation and how it affected you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah but I what that. was, I would say admirable but crazy to me is that when y'all walked in and I saw all these young faces. Man. Hmm. Yeah. And that's your team. And I'm like. That's your manager. That I'm like that. They're responsible. Y'all are young. Man, just turned 25. But oh, y'all don't look. Y'all look younger. He just turned 25. Y'all, yeah. I was guessing like 22, 20. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. but I'm 20. Is that and responsible? Is that I, I get that y'all are responsible. I can get that from just talking to y'all and hearing the things mm -hmm. that y'all are doing. But walking into a meeting. And they seen all these. Is that a disadvantage? Is that how? How does that come across to everybody? I, when they I like, see such I like, a young team, I like it because I know you're gonna try me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, because they're gonna think that y'all don't know right. nothing. Man, we busting the ass too. Like all that. Like <laughs> it's like because you just man. I never ever ever. I'm not gonna look at you and be like, it's a square. <laughs> In a man, circle. Not knowing this man background. You know what I'm you saying? Like I can't do that. I can't just do that. But like, a lot of people do. A lot of people judge. They look at you and be like. It's gonna bite them. You gonna bite them in the ass, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I always bite them in the ass. Well, I think you said a lot of valid things. The thing I like the most is that you don't get shook when you're in the presence of these people, you know. And that's not not being a, a person who cloud chase or get caught up in the in in the entertainment industry because a bunch of these niggas is not real. You know, a lot of these niggas ain't been in the streets and. I mean, for me, being a cat that's really been in the streets, being around industry niggas, I didn't feel like, you, you know, feel like I felt like they would. I, I just felt like I had some essence to me that they didn't have. And I felt like what they were rapping about was me. So I was like, these niggas rap about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> being real. Like, when you done did the stuff I done done and, and seen the things I've seen, I'm not tooting my own horn, mm -hmm. but I hear your songs and it sound real cool, but nigga, have you ever... Been in the situations that right. you're rapping about. No, nah, nigga, you've been rapping all your life, you know. Right. So I look at stuff like that. So yeah. the ones I, I'm telling you, you that's know, how I, I look at it. My boy Chose say the same thing, especially yeah. like where we from. Like he from a small town outside yeah. of Houston too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? DJ Chose, I fuck with Chose. He yeah. a real one too. Like in yeah. in his, he a real one. Like I mm -hmm. fuck with Chose for sure. But he was just basically saying like same shit you said. Like me just being around them. Yeah. You it's gonna expose. And he ain't gonna always expose. Like, yeah. We different. Yeah. From those, them, them little when you small, small you, you, them little cities. It's a difference, man. It hit different. You know, yeah. like like when you see people like Jason Peters from Queen City, mm -hmm. you know, play it play for the Philadelphia Eagles, or you see uh dudes that uh, Bobby Joe, you know, different guys that, that that I've been around and I know, you know, that 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 they country boys. You know what I'm saying? Different people from the country that then came from nothing. I got other partners. I ain't going to say their name because they probably don't want to be on this show because they're still in the streets. But at the end of the day, when you know that and you know that you go from having nothing to having millions, 
and then you turn around and, and you know you dealing with the industry and you around these certain cats, you know already what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, like I, so that's the whole game. I'm just prepared, really. <laughs> I just don't. I just I'm prepared, but I'm not prepared for who it might be. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause yeah, yeah. like, nigga, I really fuck with you. Like, yeah. I really fuck with you, but you on some other oh, shit. It's you know bit, what I'm it's saying? I done seen those. I done seen people who I had loved. I love their music. Then when I met them, I'm like this nigga here is not what that is. You mm -hmm. know? And it's sad, but that's how you'll know it right off. Right. The aura is gonna tell it. And it's not something that you to get caught up in. It's about business anyway. When you mm -hmm. own what you own, you gotta understand. That's what it is too. Yeah. A lot of people. I also respect. You know what I'm saying? I respect the ones who. I don't know him. I do a song with him. That's it. Woo -woo. It's just business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But if something happened to this song, this song just take off. You know what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to know the difference when niggas is the same energy you had when you first met me. It's the same thing. I need you to keep that. That's what you're going to I ain't your brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to All of a sudden, you just, what's up, brother, brother? Like, you just, I feel it. Like, I understand. Like, Bro, I'm going to tell you something. When it's real, you're going to always mm -hmm. connect. Like, like, like I said, when certain people come on this show, like, I'm going to always reach back out, check on them. Hey, man, where you at? E and if you call me on some crash dummy such stuff, I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. That's how I do. Like, a lot of niggas that have been on this show, I believe, gained a lot of respect for me after they left the show. And they called me back with something, and I'd be like, say, nigga, I got this. Why would you do that? You know, and right. come on, bro, you got too much to lose. I, that's the way I be talking. I'm going to be out. So if you ever going to call me, I'm gonna be honest with you, C. Go P. I'm I'm, I'm gonna tap in with you. That's one I'm, thing no, about but me, I'm man. the type of nigga gonna tell you something that's real, yeah. and I don't care nothing about the money. That's the same thing I was telling the running by yelling him nothing. I care about the character, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I care about the it's real. Yeah. I never be. I can't do the fake stuff. Yeah. Ain't no money can put me on that, and I know that. So that's what some niggas get off to, but I can't. And I ain't saying these niggas ain't real or these niggas, but I'm just telling you how I am. I'm not going to get you on nothing crash dummy, man. You young. Yeah. You already, y'all fit to make way more money than I ever had. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I want to see you keep it. I want to see you stay See, we're people that love and love hard, and yeah. we always want to see people do well. Yeah. We're not those type of people that, you know, see you doing good. I mean, we try to pull you down and stuff like that. Right. We want to see you do good because we've known many people who left us and went and did good and we'll tell people about deals, We'll tell people about them. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, pure. Man, God, exactly. God got a special place for y'all for sure. Like, so, and then if there's any way that we could help you get to where you need to go, we're sure to share it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And, and, and like I said, we still listen. deal. I was just talking to a, a cat this morning that used to be here when he was a kid and Nah, he worth millions. I mean, we seen it. We we already seen it. I see cats that when we met them, they hugged me, want to take a picture with me. Now they doing all the music for people like Jonah Lucas, Lil Baby, and all of them. They back scene doing all the production. But when I first met them, they wasn't doing that. So I, God let me see these things. Right. And and you see the effect that it have on their life too. So I think that's something that, that you know, that I think he, he's wanting us to help others by letting us see these things early on. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. Like, I look at it like people like, man, don't start acting Hollywood. Oh, 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 oh. I still feel the same. Like, I be down there. Like, if I do go back to East Texas, I still try to move the same. Whatever people get to. Nah, you just like, what you doing out here? You out big time. Nah, like, you, what they I tell did me notice, that. What <laughs> I did notice, when she started, it ain't true that change is always them. Exactly. You're so, going to evolve anyway, though. Yeah. You're supposed to evolve. Yeah, you got to. It's, it's evolving for the better, bossing up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, And you but, really can't be out a lot. Like, like, mm -mm. like you got to you gotta move different. You I, know what I mean? I move like a, I'm a partner guilt. He like, I love what you're doing. You stay out the way, bro. Yeah, you stay, have to. I move like a, it's like a, a dot on a map. Like, you ain't going to know where I'm at. Like, yeah. they don't know where I'm at. I'm like, That's what like, you're supposed what to do. what the hell you doing? I'm like, I'm good, but I got to stay out the way. Like, yeah. not saying I'm running from anything and then like that, but. Being cautious because not everybody mean you good. And some people will yeah, try to do things to you. That's how it is. Like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? be smart about it. Yeah. It's like, I know God got me. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. And I ain't the biggest, baddest. I ain't worried. I ain't saying I ain't scared of no. You know how I let whatever. Because I ain't scared of nobody. Yeah, we already so, you know, know how that. that go. That part we But know. it's just like, if you can prevent it, prevent it. Yeah. I, that part, I ain't got no ego like that. You know that, what I'm saying? That part we know. I mean, I think the main thing is uh, uh, that you understand that that you a target because, to me, the devil is going to try to find a way oh, to knock devil. you off the throne. You know what I mean? Because it's mm -hmm. something special, and he already can see it. Mm -hmm. and, and and so he going to try to knock you off that off that throne. Like, you got a buzz, and, 
and things is going great for you and, and, and other people see that, but they can be used for a negative strategy to try to stop what God have for you. So mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta move different Some obstacles, man. You yeah. gotta overcome the obstacles. Like I had an obstacle right before my show. Like really to be honest, it's two two obstacles. Like I had one, something happened, man, an incident. And a lot of people probably be ashamed to talk about it. Like I yeah. ain't even ashamed to talk about it. Like Yeah. I met them all, bro. I come back out and my car got broken. Too. You it know happens. what I'm saying? My I'm not tripping. It's like the third time it'll happen to me, though. That's the way it You know what I'm saying? That's so good. I'm just like, they don't know this car. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I'm looking at all these cars around my car. And I'm in the front. I got to touch. Okay, so y'all don't see this. This, this, beam, this beam on these porches, you yeah, want to yeah. touch me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mm-hmm. don't see this. You don't see this. You know what I'm saying? This hell can't. Yeah. Y'all want to touch me. So I look at it like, all right, cool. All right, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, so let me not just. I was hot. Don't get me wrong. I was hot. Be. I was hot, but it's like. I don't like, understand why. Nah, I was hot. I don't hot. get it. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you, but, you, hey, man, I don't be tripping off stuff like that. That's what you pay insurance for. Yeah, no, it's definitely. I'm going to be you, real. I don't be caring about that stuff, man. I guess because when you start getting money, you won't be caring about none of that. This store, all that. Mm-hmm. You just put insurance on it and go. I'm going to be honest. That's what it's for. At the end of the day, as long as it ain't touch you, you can get anything back. That's why I, that's what so I said that, I think it's only God right that. there We better get this money man yeah. You know what I'm saying The little bit of things They, they stopping You know big thing popping Shout oh, out to yeah. T.I. nigga You know what I'm talking about We trying to get that bread nigga yeah, it's Big money so nigga giant, You know what I'm saying sure, We ain't sure. trying to hear that stuff So again you, Where you headed You can't even trip mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying You headed to a whole different level man oh, So If a little I'm going to say this This probably be One of the last things I ask But I always mm-hmm. ask this For the young niggas That's coming up man 15 year old is coming up if you could uh, go back, you 23 now, and talk to your uh, 13-year-old self, what would you say to, to to prepare yourself for what you're about to face now, you know, the things you went through? You making your right choices. <laughs> I wouldn't change it, okay. to be real, just because I feel like it would maybe. You know okay. what I'm saying? A lot of people try to change, like, heartbreak or something they went through, like, even losing. Like, to be real, crazy as it might sound, Cause I know it's all in God's plan. I might not want my people to pass away, but I want to. I would really live the same way, like everything. Cause yeah. I feel like it's in God's way. Like that's just what that is. Like it's, it's, it was meant for that. Like yeah. every little heartbreak I done went through from this girl, that that, I just be like, bro, you a warrior, bro. That's all it is, man. Like just, just do you. Let, let me, me ask, let, let me ask. But you it's this. not even that. Hold on. <laughs> but um, I gotta replace that. Yes. Um, it made me forget. What I was gonna say. The thing, no, but uh, okay, go ahead. All right, I remember. The thing we want you to do, man, is keep doing what you've been doing, man. As far as following your dream, okay, your man. aspiration, and success, man, it's coming to you. You just got to be ready for it. You oh, you figured out what you yeah. were gonna ask? Okay, she she popped up. I said, yeah, oh, hey, she it ready. came back. <laughs> no, um, I understand what you're saying, but and I was saying that um, going back and telling the twelve year old you. Um, how to do something different. Maybe there's something that you said you might have w- wished you had done earlier. You might wish you had started a rapping game earlier than started at the time you did. Uh, would you go back and tell that 12-year-old anything some, that would help you today? And I don't want to say just put that football down, but you just... <laughs> That's what I want to say, nigga. I would nigga. just say that. Put that said, damn ball but, down, nigga, and get to that music. Because I'm going to tell you something, nigga. That football ain't yeah, going nowhere. So and I he, and he four races. I no, sure I'm would. <laughs> I sure would tell myself, like, boy, I'm going to put that pig skin down. And, and get that pin. Go stand up behind that little microphone and go do you. So I probably tell myself that. Oh, okay. It'd probably be here quicker. Man. That's I'll what I was wondering. Well, hey, man, we appreciate you coming on the show, man. Our time is about up, man. Yeah, so Boy, I sure you, enjoyed this interview. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm, I, I, we we locked in. Yeah. Hey, I know you got a little manager and all that, nigga, nah, but I'm going to call you, nigga. Yeah, I, I ain't get, lying, nigga. <laughs> I'm going to get this song, too, nigga. Y'all don't even realize it. You mm-hmm. know? <laughs> nah, you get it out, man. No, nah, man, I just appreciate you for coming on the show. I appreciate and anytime y'all, y'all need, I, you probably want to, I'm trying to do something with the East Texas Click, man, to where we can, come up with a shirt or something, a, a clothing line that we can do together. I do clothes, so okay. if we can do something to where we can put some clothes on everybody down there to where we can all work together so it makes sense, that's what I want to do. Okay. You know what I mean? Something to where you, you got to wear it all the time, but it ain't got to say nothing about this. It just need to be something to where when you guys, are, you, you need to have something to where when you guys do the visuals that we can show what we are and who we are and what we stand for. You ain't got no Boss Talks t-shirts? 
Oh, they coming. They coming. The okay. whole set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the whole okay. short set first. I and it's it gonna be fly. Uh oh. Nah, I like support. So no, I no, I'm gonna send it to you. Nah, I like support, man. Y'all nah, man, I already me. got money, nigga. I don't need you to do no money, nigga. I want your damn support, support, Mike Jones. Ain't that what he did when he coming here? He yeah. wants support. Everybody wants support, nigga. I want y'all niggas to wear this gear and let's get out of here. We have you know a, we have unique hustle right now, but we boss talk is coming. boss talk coming. Okay. I want it. I'm it's me. I'm romantic, bro. I want it to be right. I right. want it to be. I don't want this same old press on. I don't want that. I want you see me right here. I'm gonna hit it with the stitch. I like. I that. might do the. You know what I'm saying? The unique hustle on it, but it's gonna be something, something real nice. That's what I'm working on for everybody. I want to do something where it can hit right. You know, mm -hmm. I've been doing these clothes. So I, that's what I love. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. It's a unique hustle. It's a unique hustle. And we out. And we out. <laughs>